Good afternoon. My name is Ryan Wilson. I'm Chief Executive Officer of Lowry's Restaurants and here with you today to show you a little bit about carving prime rib. Uh, seven bone, what we call in the restaurant, the export rib. Um, and this is our pride and joy. This is what our restaurant has been serving um, since 1938. The product that my grandfather used to call the greatest meal in America. So before we jump into carving the beef, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the anatomy of the meat and a little bit about how to trim it. So at home, even if you don't have a full piece of prime rib, oftentimes you're still going to have this fat section that runs along the bones. You can see if I trip it over. So here's the interior of, of the cavity of the animal, the bones protruding. This whole section here, you can see probably best on a cross section, this whole section here is going to end up being trimmed away. And so a little trick here, you just use the tip of your fork and pull, and then come in with a nice sharp knife and slowly trim away the fat. And it should come off, and then you'll come right down to the bone. In another video, I talk about the importance of a long blade. And here we're seeing it come into action. So there you have a fairly well trimmed up piece of prime rib or whole roast. I'm going to come back in and trim a little bit of the fat. Not much. We'll see some larger pieces here. But for us at Lowry's, that is almost ready to serve. Okay, so here's our trimmed, full, standing roast of beef. And before we start carving, I want to show a little bit more on the anatomy, because this is critical. Okay, on the back side here, I hope you can see where the bones are, the ends of the bones. So here's the end of the rib bone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And people often ask me, how do you get through this bone rack? People sometimes think that it's one continuous um, bone. It's not. There are actually joints in here. So what we're looking for here actually, and it's a little tricky, you see one bone here and two bones here. So you have one bone and two bones. And it looks like there's a big open section here. That's not where you're going to get through, though. You're going to actually get through right through that little crack right there. So you're going to get through in the smaller, odd space rather than the big open one. So for us at Lowry's, we carve a little bit differently. We're going to stand the roast up, holding onto it nice and firmly with our fork. You'll notice that the fork is placed in into the rib rack, not into the center par portion of the meat because I don't want that fork tines going into your dinner. So I'm going to get started here and you can see right here is where I'm aiming to be able to get through the roast. Between, between this end of the, the rib bone and then this smaller piece right here, I'm going to be able to get through right there. So I'm going to line it up and I'm going to start nice long strokes. Oh. down and then it's going to come right through. So I'm going to get a new purchase on the meat and now we're going to cut we're going to we're going to cut you a Lowry's cut here. So now I'm at the bone and I actually have to go down. See, and now through that gap, and then I come back up. Thank you, chef. And there's your Lowry's cut. So the trick's there. Nice, long, smooth strokes. Great sharp knife. And you're looking for that small spot rather than the big spot in between the bones to get through your roast. So with that, I wish you a wonderful dinner. Come on in and see us or reach out with any other questions.
Thanks for enjoying Larry's The Prime Rib, and bon appetit.